everybody, it's Senate's Beast, and I am here with Tyler Beast. Hey guys, we're ready to see what the next matchup is. This time, the Cavaliers are facing against Indiana Pacers back at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. This is the next part of the game. It's a win or go home for Indiana Pacers. Now for this matchup, I will have the next commentaries on the board. That's right, the next matchup I have it in between is Lightball, and he's also along with some other commentators with Test Tube and Paintbrush for the first commentary. Right in between will be Ali LaForce or David Aldrich with some in-between options. Now let's get this thing started, and Game 6 starts now. Coming up in the later, going to be the halftime report, but we'll see how this one comes in. Darius Garland is with Donovan Mitchell. Max Struess with Evan Mobley. Then Tyrese Halliburton with Andre Nembhard. He's also with Pascal Siakam and Aaron Nesbitt, and the two center guards are Jared Allen and Miles Turner. Let the games begin. Starting at the lineups for your visiting team, the Cavaliers. Yeah. Going forward, Max Schultz. At point guard, point guard Darius, Darius, Darius Garland. At the other Video forward, Kevin Mobley. At shooting guard position, the center is, the center is Jared, Jared Allen. Shooting guard. And the other guard. Donovan Mitchell. The head coach for the Cavaliers is JB Dick Trigger Staff. And now, it's starting to line up for your Indiana Pacers. Our position, Sing Bui, number two, Andrew Nibbler. At forward, 6-5, number 23, Aaron Nesbitt. Six eleven, number thirty three, Miles Turner. And here for the position, six eight, eight, number forty three, Pascal Siaka. And at point guard, six five, six, five number zero, Tyrese. Holly Burton! The head coach for the Indiana Pacers, Rick Carlson. The head coach is Rick Carlson. Another round of applause for your Indiana Pacers. Welcome to 2K Sports coverage of the NBA playoffs. I'm Lightbulb and I am here with my broadcasting partner along with my other two, a test tube and paintbrush. Coming to you live at Game Bridge Fieldhouse of the NBA 2K Sports. Another matchup is waiting upon us, and this time it's about to happen. Win or go home for Indiana Pacers. It's going to be a fun one right now. I mean, have to believe that in between, you got to have it all down. Make that one a close out game, anybody has a chance for a win. All excited now. I mean, it's going to be a great match matchup. start things off for Indiana Pacers. We start things underway in Indiana. All filled up and ready to go. Here's a start. Siakam. He's on Evan Mobley. Moves it around across and towards the middle. It's denied by Evan Mobley. Still a Pacers ball. First block of rejection puts it in here for Evan Mobley with 7.45 to go. If that's how you want to start things off, gotta start that quick. I mean, you really have to do what with your own taste. It's not what we all do. Don't take it in there for sure. Last call Siaka with his first drive in. He makes that lead. Always love to pick up drive moment out there. They're really starting that one off and showing off to The pass finds the candy there is Garland. And now we'll find it over and again to Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley will now have it over and again to Garland. And he gives again to Max Struess. 
Shrews gives it over to Darren Allen, shoots it. Big stop on the chain by Miles Turner. Miles Turner with his first rebound, now finds over to get a tiny celebration. Albert now finds Siaka. Yeah, with a shot. Oh, two blocks in a row by Evan Mobley. Oh, I don't know what to tell you now. Evan Mobley was really trying to the a shot. How is he reaching? How is he handling it up with that side of it? And this is like unbelievable. No way they couldn't take the game at all. Here's Siaka. Right toward the middle. And another bucket made in for Pascal Siaka. That's another bucket made here for Indiana Pacers. And now here comes Scarlett. He's over now finding Max Struess with the drive. And Kelton is bucket in one. Andrew Nemar. Andrew Nemar with his first wrestle. And their first team foul for Indiana. You know, I literally like to say, it's just what they all do for now. When you finish a drive for Max Struess, that one bucket in. Just had to have to loose the chain. That's for good. On the pressure tank. All inbounds have to be here for good. Max Schuess at the free throw line shooting two with under seven minutes to start in the first quarter of the game. He hits a free throw and you're now down by one. Here's Pascal Siaka, he'll have a chance right on the other side. Now finds a cut. Here's Siaka for two. And this one's missed out on the outside. Here's Mobley, will now give it over again to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's over again. Evan Mobley up. The two will take it in as Evan Mobley will have the first bucket in range. Now it's a 5 4 game. Always kind of the lead. That happened to be what they really have to do for. You've got to play him out the right way. And Tyrese Alabama gets off the drive. Six fights to score. You really have to be out there for one time. If they, they don't have anybody going over, I mean, that's what they nobody wants to get. Gary Scarlett now finds again to Donovan Mitchell. He goes again to Max Schroes. Schroes scores it in. Number two, around it goes in. Another bucket for Max Struess. He has five points. Well, you talk about the last game. There was no way that he had to let that one go by. I mean, he had missed everything. And there's no way you have to defend yourself. You have to just try to go with another look. This offense is not picking up the steam right away. They have to go with another look. They have to be leading it big. And they don't have the right call to be there. Max Schroes, he was way cold, not able to help him out. He has a chance down to Evan Mobley, and a three-pointer for Donovan Mitchell. Six to triple in from outside. It's now a 10 to 8 game. As they're up by two. Excellent great on the chance here for Donovan Mitchell. He really had to start that one up with a good huge chain. First time off call by Indiana Pacers with 5.15 left to go in the first period. Chance now to have a, one of each plays, and you're always looking for a next one of the matchups. If there's a Cleveland Cavaliers and a Heat matchup probability, is there an airway they're going to get show days off, or is it going to be a no? Hmm, I'm not sure if this will be like that. I mean, they're like playing it all over in between. My head would say no. Let's go to game seven. And because of that point, they're really are trying to mess things up here, showing off how they can tell. It's not going to do easily enough here, but they got to have a lot of time effort. If there's no other way to try to go in with the uh, better taking over, that's what the problem is. They need to find somebody else here to go with an open look. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. It, it might be what they wanted to get. I'm sure that this will be game seven, do or die, between Cavaliers or Indiana. That might be what they get. Hopefully there is an ever-changing that could try to save it all. Started off as they resume the play with 5.15 to go. And the pass is stolen. Darius Carlin with the steal. Here comes Jared Allen. Put it, touch, slams down. Darius Carlin. Indiana trolling by four. Tyree Celebrating gets coming up here by Donovan Mitchell. Over now again, Tyrese Albert. He's right into the wings. Try to drive his gift. 
Alright, we'll celebrate with the first two buckets more. 435 left to go in the first. Now back to Darius Garland. Back to pass over to Donovan Mitchell and an offensive foul picks it. But no, it's not. Sloppy fouls the ball, rough set. Well, that is not what I was expecting. This was not good, but they you have to play for. Don't call a blocking. They could get you tricked. Third uh, now finds the number to get Darius Scarlett with 3 4 35 left to go in the first quarter. And Mitchell will then give a bounce pass to Allen. Allen. Wants to be over it again. Now finds Mitchell. Donna and Bobby for 3. This is the shot side range of the target. TJ McConnell. The screen. He walks inside. Oh, Mobley with 3 blocks in a row. Now finds Mobley. Looks the pass to Jared Allen. And that will drive it in. On the face shot after Evan Mobley with the assist. Just got to keep it in there. I mean, I don't know Evan Mobley's like keeping a fire on it. Look, good takes. Hughes Turner. Inside his own. We'll take it in. Two player misses the target. It's not what I'd like to see. I mean, this is not trying to be great. I don't know what's going on, but they just don't want to be playing it in between. You can't let that one fool you or stand by if there's another takeover chance to have that one stopping you or slowing you down. And the drive puts it in for a timely celebration. 325 left to go in the first quarter. Now over again, now Harney Mitchell. Mitchell on a spur down. Bumps it up. Oh, maybe he's test shot. He makes it in there clean. Now that is happened to be Donovan Mitchell. And I don't know what they could definitely just try to do it for if anybody. I didn't really say that Donovan Mitchell is a great guy. Just playing in here for once and he misses for twice. And it's the option. On a shot, he's fouled. Mm -hmm. And he's in a holy mm -hmm. with the first personal. Only three blocks is made, but only the foul has been picked up. And now Pascal Siakam is going to be more like Jimmy Pascal Siakam. two. First free throw sets in for Pascal Siaka. Now with the new line group substitutions, it's George Yang, he's checked in for Darius Garland. And Evan Mobley's checked out as Karis LeVert's checked in. The Indiana Pacers are making new changes. Turner and Nesbitt were checked out. As Walker and McDermott are checked in, Siaka moves to center. He only gets one free throw, so it's now a 16-13 game. He now finds Donovan Mitchell. So it's now to Jared Allen. Jared Allen with no room to go. First three-pointer sets in for Jared Allen. He has seven. Just have to believe right now, Jared Allen made the three-pointer. A lucky make. Time off ball by Indiana Pacers with 2.40 to go in the first period. Well, they're going to have to talk it over now. I mean, I don't know what they're doing, but... Don't let them happen again. You want to get your shirts today, but you need to be the loudest. Can you do it? Let's hear it! 19 13 is the score. We'll take a quick on the quick break on the sell down to show you things. It's going to be a what they all call for of how they're going to make that next cat matchup work. The first interview will be the sneak of the first look of an appearance for Denver Nuggets as they'll be playing against the Dallas Mavericks on the start of the chain after three games of the hockey has been complete. And then we will sit you down to the other side as you have the normal couple games ready to have the first round starting off for the NBA playoffs to the second round for the two game sports. It's just a hard one that they're doing for. But there may not be anybody that they want to go in and try to figure out who's the next team we're going to face against the Heat. Some pages for the Indiana Pacers and for the Cavaliers is now after a switch off. And now he finds it over to get a walker, backing over to top end, and only top end is just a two three pointer. Garrus LeBert finds Jared Allen. Looks to the end of George Yang. George Yang on the screen. 
on the layup. Oh, tough and a shot on the layup drive, and he has that first bucket in. Well, you always know George D.A. I mean, he has gotten it pretty well. Off to a great start, but it's just not what the comfortable is. But I was really noticing, if this one takes it in here, don't take it for me. A George D.A. had it all. The layup can't get for, for Walker. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. Okay, now the shot is Morrell. And Morrell will make that two-pointer in. Matt Schuess with the assist. 23 to 13 is the score. Really well, got to keep it out, out there. I mean, I don't know what you could definitely do, but Sam Morrell, you know he can. Three for only topping. This is from the outside as Jared Allen will have the rebound against his third. He now finds it again to Struis, over now again to Morrell. Morrell trying to handle it over, now finding it again to Garrison Burke. The bounce pass, Jared Allen, shoots over Walker. And a good back in third would be not be to the end. It's now McConnell has to. McConnell, backing and sliding it up for two. This is another miss by Indiana Pacers. One ten to go, he finds Morrell. Morrell, trying to head it over. Now back again to Allen. Allen, trying to give a bounce pass again to Struess. Struess with the two. Six and in for the double. That's seven points for Max Struess. He now has three and three in his field goal range. Oh yeah, he's excellent now. I mean, just got to keep it going over if you can. And the foul's call, fucking one. Walker makes that bucket in, and Jared Allen with the foul. The winner is ready to go. Well, this is what happens now. Walker just has Allen to step it in there. That's Walker. It just happened with Alan Perkin. And up he goes, make the shot in count. Excellent take. Now the free throw's coming in. This will be in our filter to the free throw line for the Indiana Pacers with 46.7 seconds. With the one bounce, he makes a free throw. Indiana trying by nine. He now has it. And it's McDermott with the bad pass. Here comes the take to Albert. Oh! Evan Mobley. No, it's Carousel Burke this time. That's because when he has took it, he wants to take his rejection, just like Mobley did. Oh, yes, now it's never happened. Karis LeVert rejects that shot. That's what no one has ever agreed to do that, so. Now finds a pass on the top end, the layout puts it in. McDermott with the assist. With 30 seconds left to remain in the first period, first quarter, and now he finds a nice score. The bounce pass now finds it over again to Tristan Thompson. Back outside, over again to the game. Over to Okoro, 20 seconds. Slides it across with the two. And a great step in for Isaac Okoro. He has his first bucket in. The major of this one here for Isaac Okoro had to be happy with the better look at the playable. After playing for University of Auburn, he has to be out there for another take if he wants more to have it stopped in. Another bucket bait for Indiana, and, and here's a chance for that court, and it's too short. That's the end of the first quarter, it's a 27 20 game. We really are expecting to say that they are trailing by seven. Well, let's keep it in there. If there's another choice, in between. A great block, Karis LeVert and Evan Mobley on the biggest defensive takedown. Now that's why I know science knows rules. Second quarter is coming up right after the break. And you're just tuning in for the second quarter. We're ready to have you back. Ready to get this thing started. Part of it is to how does this happen to be a close game? What the other takes, you guys? Well, it just happened now. I mean, I know they really are just trying to play on a concentration, but don't judge them when they have it in there. Well, it may be what they're getting, but hopefully you can try to defend what you want to do. Now to start for the second quarter, off and ready. As for Adam Mobley, he's been fall, we've been four miles start. Then across from here with Garland with Mitchell. Thompson's right toward the center. 
Uh, man is Isaac Cora, right towards the right wing. And finally, on the other side of it, is Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell to two. Pass it, sinking in for the three. And number one for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're up by ten. Really have to be out there. Donovan Mitchell, if you're shooting like him, you may have a great percentage with that shot. Here goes Pass out Siakam. And a rebound puts it in for Tristan Thompson. He's had his first rebound of the night. Now he's up again to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell puts it over again to Tristan Thompson and now finds it over. Reporter from Allen LaForce, he has talked it over to Baker Staff. What about Donovan Mitchell? So he's worn it with another jersey. He wants to wear it just like the Michael Jordan has one. And it's not when he just really paints his face. He really does all that happens. He does for more of it, he wants to change things over. Like wearing a Michael Jordan jersey. Well, I know he is. I mean, he just have to believe on him because if he wants to wear a Michael Jordan jersey, he's, he's got to be like him. Well, I'm not really sure if that happens already. Well, I'm just going to help him out and be like a team. Yeah, he's done things right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it may have been a different way to have that one more than the Bears. Hopefully there's another way that can try to handle it and help it out. Donovan Mitchell, he's a cut. For the try, and good. Donovan Mitchell has another bucket in. Time out call by Indiana Pacers with 6.15 to go. We're coming here to the start of the second quarter. We'll get right into the break pretty soon. You have to rest. Change. Because right now, let's see. Occam's checked in, as Thompson's checked out, and Jared Allen will be bringing their starting five groups on the other side. Nesmith now finds McConnell, finds Denmark for three, takes it in for the triple. As it in to start off for the Indiana Pacers, it's a 34 23 game. Terry Scarlett now finds it in to Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley finds Garland. Oh, what a cut! Nice step in here for Darius Garland. He has his first bucket after assisted by Evan Mobley. Now, Evan Mobley really had that one in there. He wants to get it back to Darius Garland, but that's what he just wanted to do. And just the right timing does it all. The miss puts in for Indiana Pacers. He now finds Darius Garland. Garland now finding the cut. Over to Evan Mobley, he says, right back at you. He made that one with a great shot. Evan Mobley with four points. Yeah, I know Evan Mobley is like a fantastic one, but that's what he just really did. Not that anybody's good at it, you gotta believe it for yourself. Andrew Neymar with the assist after Nesmith with the three. Here's a chance now to a four. Backing over again, Darius Garland. This 38 26 game finds it again to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell finds it to Darius Garland. Now finding Mobley for two. Off the rim. Back to Siakam again to McConnell. Open look for a three. That misses. An error rebound. And it's put it away. It's a Vaporo. How happened over again to, to Darius Garland. Broken up the steal on the pass to the play. Now finds it over again to TJ McConnell. Siakam right towards the wing. And he's over again in that part. For three, misses the target. Mobley will now have over again to Mitchell. And he's over again to Jared Allen. For a simple two, that's good. Jared Allen with nine points in this game. It's a 40 to 26 game in the period. Now he's number 10. He finds Turner again to Nevard. Nevard spins around. For two, takes it over, now finds Allen, as he will now have it over again to Okoro. Okoro. Watching a sidestep here, here's Allen. Allen gives it over again to Mitchell. Mitchell swings it over across back to Allen. Again, Darius Garland for three. Goals are now. Here's that hard. Another takedown pressure. Over for two. Open look, no good. Three for eight left to go in the second quarter. As right now, the first half is coming down to the end. And phase a shot. Okoro steps back, makes it in. That's four points in this game. And that's Mobley, Mobley, Evan Mobley with the assist. Well, they have to be in here all for once. I mean, I can't really say it about that happened because Isaac Okoro, he's like a man. Damn, but a man already, if you 
know I'm talking. <laughs> I, I really just know how that happened. They're really expecting us to see what goes in, and that tape comes in alive. Here's another one, Jared Allen on a shot. He blocked the shot. That's Pacers nice called in the foul. It's Miles from free throw coming up for the Jared Allen at the free throw line shooting two. Well, this was not always what I expected. Now Jared Allen, that is going to be really good. Now I'm going to take a chance with that go and just put that go bucket made in. It's not what you can't just do. Try to smack the ball and then you go right back over to it again. Gotta have that one in there at the right timing. Free throw leads it in for Darren Allen. Now the big changeup is coming in as all three players are checked out. Mowgli, Okoro, and Garland are checked out. More senior, Laverne and Mitchell are checked in. The bases are also making the changes. Three players checked out, three players checked in. Walker, McDermott, and Toppin are checked in. And a second free throw sets in for Jared Allen. Here's an early one. And he's right toward the middle. Three for Toppin. This from the outside. Struce with another rebound and now puts it again to Derek Donovan Mitchell. Looks it over again to Jared Allen. Jared Allen for the two. Oh, that one went easy. Jared Allen's got 13 points, 46 39 to score. Well, they've been really up downing right now. They're already pushing. And they can't be really like crushing in there if they have another room to have it there. Barry's Albert makes number two. And now 10 point game for him. I'll say. Jared Allen must know that, but it must be all it takes in here when he has for Donovan Mitchell. Gotta have that one here with another tight percentage down there. LeVert finds their beginning of Max Juice. With two minutes remaining, here's LeVert. LeVert on the pitch, he got for the reverse again, and it's missed. Walker now finds it over. And here's Nemar. Nemar finds the Alberta for three. Triple point, no good. Jared Allen setting a tone down a bit. He has a sixth rebound. Now finds it over the end to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell, this is way across. Here's Jared Allen for this three step back, and it's off the target. And here's a three for Walker. That's good. Makes it in here with another three ball. And it looks like that Mitchell will have to make his timeout ball. But right now, with 1.2 to go, it's a 46-34 game. Well, let's see what they do. They really want to try to, like, show them off their spirit, of course, do they? Of course they would. Yeah, I know. I mean, let's make this one feel good. We love that. Don't forget, coming up, we have a halftime show that's happening here at the Indiana against the Cavaliers. That will be the next part of it as the halftime show is coming up as Ernie Johnson. K. Jeff Smith and Shaq O'Neal are ready to get on the board and find out what happens with the first half. And total statistics for the first half in between. Now let's get right into the next one here. Halftime show's coming up after the first quarter completion. The new line changes for the Cavaliers. Allen and Mitchell are checked out. And now checking back in is Morrell and Thompson. Let the clock wait down. Morrell for three. This one's off the rim as McDermott will have a number. And here's another take. Jordan in the middle and his drive puts him for Hermie Topping. 46 36 to score. Down by 10. Really have to be out there. I mean, I don't want to be in a hurry for a rush. Tricks. Sort of way he now finds it over to get to more senior. More senior. Tries to be over. Gets a run for a two. Misses again. Walker has it. Back again. Down the right And here's McDermott. And they up. And it's off the target line. Over now to find LeVert. LeVert finds a pass again to Thompson. Thompson with the shot. Layup in. No. That stays out. McDermott now finds again in that part. 
Get our moves around and you'll see care of it. It'll take seconds left to remain in the first half. Watch the screen. Here's the layup. And this again. Shoots. Pass is over. For a senior. For deep three. And it's off the rim. 46 36 is the score. That ends the first half. We'll take a quick break and get right to the second half. Coming up after this. And now. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Any of the Jets with us here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Jared Allen having an outstanding game. He had 13 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles there last time out. Taking a look at the Cavaliers, Shaq, what you think? They're running the offense beautifully with this one. They're running the good looks, the confidence looks good. They're running the defense in this one. They're throwing this one. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Pacers. Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys are getting burned on the ground. They went for a hand up, and my man, you say, hand down, hand down. Oh, you got to get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shaq, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Thank you for just tuning in ready for the third quarter. We're about to take you back to Game Bridge Fieldhouse. All for Jared Allen. He has definitely constipated with all of his technique and skills that offense has been picking up this better pace than he does. Well, you always say, that's what he does for more. Ever since he does it for that, it's a bigger timing effort. All for once, all for all. We start the third quarter. Donovan Mitchell is with on Andrew Denmark. Evan Mobley is with Pascal Siakam. Garland is on Tyree Sullivan. Miles Turner, he's on Jared Allen. Man across from here is Evan Mobley. He is with he's with Pascal Siakam. He has a chance for, for Mobley. He'll take it two. Dropping it in here for a six points game. A 48-36 score. Two-pointer with nobody around. It's good. Number two pointer bucket scores in for Indiana Pacers. You have a report for Allen the Force. So right now he's been talking of one of it, and you've always know that Rick Carlisle, Carlisle just said trying to make sure he had that one in the right between. That so is the entry to us. We have to improve to everyone who has that one in there with a better look at their writing their offense. It's just not what they all do, but we have to play like we used to do. Just like what everyone does, like it's hockey. Or if it's like a better angle, the, the better offensive drive, you just gotta make sure you have that right motion in. That's why Rick Carlson just made that one a lot harder to have that chance in there. Now it's just because they don't really have it over. And they need to put it in there when they have that one stumble. To keep that one there alive. They need something else to try to stop it instead. A chance for a second play and rebound. For two, it's good. Lee Smith with a number two point bucket score there, down by eight. Just really keeping it in there, and they wanted to like go for another goal. They're now not fun to get the streaks. Streaks. Fun to never get there, he's gone. Alright, now fun to begin the streaks. Streaks. With the finishing drive, up for two, and he loses that one. Miles Turner with a number of rebound pick. Now he's trying to celebrate a free for Nesbitt. Jared Allen's got his eight rebounds. Tries to keep over again at Donovan Mitchell. He looks again to Jared Allen. Jared Allen, right over to two, and he makes a try. That's 15 points in the game. And Donovan Mitchell with the assist. They're up by 10 with 5.43 to go. Just you got that one in there. I mean, you're open to score chances. I mean, you're not really always real. But making this one a fruitful, maybe for anybody who can go. The layup puts it in. It's another miss here by Indiana Pacers. And now it's right over to getting Darius Scarlett for a layup and good. Darius Scarlett with a second bucket. It's a 52-40 game. 
with nearing a five minute mark in the third quarter. Well, they really want that. I mean, I don't know what they could do. I mean, they just really is showing it off like it's a better chance play. Down with our two point bucket score. Three for Miles Turner. That's another miss by Indiana. Just really can't stand there. I mean, they don't have anybody that know what they wide open look. I mean, they're losing that bit conscious in a game. Gives them a moment. Side back over a round turner. And he misses the shot. Now it's back there away. Here's the three for Siakam. That's good. From outside, Fake. It's now a 52 43 game. Time off ball by the Cavaliers with a 4 40 35 game. Past the five minute mark, but we still haven't made the end of the third quarter yet. And so now we'll be taking this a little bit of time to do some new changes. The NBA playoffs of 2K Sports is brought to you by Adidas. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by State Farm. Like the paper, State Farm is there. on the court, as they are now stretching it in, as now B.A. is on the court. He has Streets is checked off, and Alex is checked off on the court, as the court is checked on the court. And for the Indiana Pacers, as two players come off the court, Tyree Celebrant moves over, as C.J. McCollum is checked in from the jury. Here's another take, Mitchell for the two. This one missed again. Here's McConnell. Now finds it again. And Albert two is missed around, and it's up again. Aurora, oh Siaka, unbelievable take, another seal, puts it in, and that must have been the uh, broken up the play here for Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, I must be saying, I, I, I think you must have had that grab the ball back. I mean, that may have been a huge competition out there. May not be what they were expecting, but that is not what I was really noticing. They're really trying to have that one go in. The rebound puts it in by Miles Turner. And now he finds it already to Tyree Seller. Gave the chance. What a driving death. Alec Burton with a 52 47 game. Here's Sarah Scarlett. Now finds it over. Here's Donovan Mitchell for two. And a great solid defensive effort for Tyree Seller. And here's Siaka for the three. Triple range. 52 to 50 is the score, and uh, they are down by two. Well, they're wasting it now. I mean, they got to do something else about it instead. Evan Mobley decides to get away, and he has eight points. Backed up by four to cut the digits up and extend the digits up. Three pointer up again. Yes, he does. Another one for the Indiana Pacers. They're trying to roll it in. Well, you all don't have to worry about that. I mean, they really are trying to keep it in there. Now finds it over. Mitchell. Mitchell gives it again. And a three for George D.A. And it's Cash Porter in. It's now a 57 53 game with five points. Fires all over and really wants it number three. Watching the double square man screen to play. Here's Turner. He's screened up. Right towards the backhand of Miles Turner. It's good. 70, 57 to 55 is the score. They're keeping it in here right away. Well, that's for long, long. I mean, why in the world do you have to go with that pick? Better choice than ever. Goes up with another two point bucket score. Or a bit of a three pointer to have a close game. They pick up a lead, too. Here's a go over to three. And it makes a triple A. Okoro has got seven points. I'm going to have 45 to go in a third. Really have to be in here for once now. I mean, how could that be an effort play to get things stay firm? I don't know what's going on, but that must have been a smashing big hit on a bucket score. Big chain is just not even easy enough to have it settled. Now he finds again a Georgie A. Georgie A now finds it over. Here's a shot for Mitchell. And this is again. Now it's back to Turner right over again. T.J. McConnell. And 
now finds it over. Turner shot. Stop put it over here as the quarter has a rebound. Passes over again to Mobley. Mobley now finds the pass over now again to Isaac Okora. Okora with a finish drive and he's fouled. That's his first personal for Aaron Nesmith. And first team foul for Indiana with a minute and two to go. Back to line for the Cavaliers. Isaac Okora. Coming up here for the Cleveland Cavaliers with under seven minutes remaining again. And they're trying to look for more senior with this first two bucket shot. Yeah. 
Moore Senior hits the first free throw. Now, as he's expecting it, he might be able to get a second free throw if he has it in there. Well, it's just the time right now. I mean, just do what you can. Don't let that one get away. Donovan Mitchell's checked in. And for the Pacers, Smith checks on the court for Pascal Siakam. And Walker checking in for Turner. He only hits the first free throw. Now back the air away is that far. Here's this. Here's McDermott. McDermott with the drive, and it's good. McDermott tries to handle it over. 6.45 left to go in the fourth. Now here's Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell for the finishing drive, and this one takes it in. He has 14 points this game. Albert. And this is the defensive free second call on Jared Allen. Oh, I don't know why he's complaining about this, but that was no way how to happen. I mean, that's like, what is this referee? How is this a call on a three second defensive violation? That's not turning out what they did. Tyree Sella at the free throw line shooting two. And he makes the first free throw. Only one made. And now it's Evan Mobley. He checks in for Marcus Morris Sr. Here's Al Burton. And we're out here for the three. It's good. 65 is the score, and we're now tied up. Just think about it now. If you're playing like the Indiana Pacers, you got to play that strong for your part to get it back in. Jared Allen misses the two-pointer. Now here's another one for Allen Burton. A layup drive. Fix it in. Now back in the range, Darius Garland. Here's the bats. Over with the two, and it's good. Evan Mobley back the our way, and that's now 67-67. Score. Really what they want. They want three pointers. They're really like harder on the on the layup. They just do it fast as they can. Donovan Mitchell tries to watch the floppy step. And he has a shot for Garland. And it goes in. It's now an order two pointer for Darius Garland. And now we just we're approaching it down to five ten to go. And a timeout call by Indiana Pacers. Well, this is what they always do. It's this now close game, but what? They're really expecting it what they have done. So I called by Indiana with 509 to go. And just nearing down the end of the regulation. They're just keep, keeping down a five minute mark line, and we'll find out what gets in there next. and for the Cleveland Cavaliers as a couple players are checking in. Walker checked out as now as Pascal Siaka and Miles Stern checking in for Jalen Smith. Watching here, he's Nemar. And the bounce passing center in this between, it's good. Nesbitt with the number two pointer. Shoots back the already Garland and now finding Mitchell. Here's Mitchell with the finish drive. Oh, what a take! And what a make for Donovan Mitchell. It's a 72-71 game. Oh, oh, back in court already. Okay. I like that idea. Hopefully this one comes in strong. Three for nobody open left. It's good. They're trying to watch it in. 75-71 to score. And I can get a Ruby. I can get a Mitchell. Mitchell finds it over to get a Jared Allen. Allen tries to get over to get a Mitchell, and now he gets it over now. There he is, Garland. The three, trying to go for back for two. And it's no good again. Neymar finds it over to Larry Teleburton. And a three, Neymar, it's no good. Four minutes left to remain in the fourth quarter, as he now has to try to make another way with a new changeoff score. Garland. Garland trying to work his way across. Finds the pass to Mitchell. Around the layup, and good. Donovan Mitchell whips 18 points. 
trying to trail down by two. Right gaming at the right time. Just what they all do. I mean, this is what nobody can care of. And they don't have that one in. They need to get that one moving. Hard one never stops if it's slow down. Darius Garland now finds an Irving and Allen. He finds Garland. Just need to get this time before it's down. Down to six in the shot clock and a layup and it's good. Tied up in the game. 75 to 75. Different comparison right in between those two. As it's right in between Siakam and Wolfram. Tyrese Halliburton. Spins around. Here's Nesbitt. Looks now again to Smith. Looks over. Nemar. Open alley oop. And he takes that dunk down to Smith. What an excellent take. I like that one. They all been looking over. They love the fans. They love to hear that show run. That makes it a great way to try to stop them. And here's the pass to Darius Garland for her two. It's a nine by Smith. Halliburton looks in her field. Spins around. Three for Denmark. And that's missed again. We battle like Halliburton. On number three. Tries it over. Now it's back again to Mitchell. Mitchell tries to have an open look. Again with Shrews. Shrews again to Mitchell. Mitchell trying to feel it out a little bit. Siakam, Shrews, again to Mobley. Two minutes of shot. There's only two minutes remaining. Shrews for the three. And he misses again. Back to Halliburton. Halliburton now finds it over. Open pass and takes it in. Smith loves that down. Indiana Pacers are trying to get this great game back. Whatever this is, now it's just going to take all that time in. And nobody has that one in. After the foul ball on Drews, here, Siakam, he's checked back on the court by Smith. Quite an excellent takeover. He does it all when he does do his best. This is the three-pointer. And now it rolls over again to Mobley. And it's over now again to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell finds again to Mobley. On a try, that's a tough layup in. As it's now under 90 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Halliburton trying to swing it over. Puts the pass. Three. Up again. No good. Now it's a chance here for any Cavaliers to take a tie or a lead. Jared Allen now finds Garland. Garland, with one minute to go, trying to waste no time with under a minute. Puts it over again to Mitchell. Mitchell, the tie the game, and it's good! Donovan Mitchell, a superstar X Fapting the player of the rules. With under a minute ago, 90-79-79. Now I say Donovan Mitchell, he's crazy. Just nothing to help it out. And when it just happened here, make that goal like count and do it all over again. And I always suspect right now, and maybe what they're all going to do for him, what do you think this will be? Well, I think Game 7 is going to like change it over. And I don't think it's going to change it anyway. Maybe I'm going to have to just show the Indiana Pacers to tie this series up. And if nothing happens, then I'll just try to like figure out who's the next part of the team to win this game. Well, hopefully there might be another change for the Indiana Pacers or the Cleveland Cavaliers. You'll find out soon enough. Come now it's time to present your new balance player in the game. For game six, it all goes to all our best, Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is really like a superstar. Everybody knows about you. Just being like he's almost like Michael Jordan. Make that feel of a pro. That is fast. Donovan Mitchell's adding another two point for every game in this postseason in a first and second round to get team wins. That's what they all do for real life and get it done beyond anything. Put it all. Covering it up. Here is a take for two. Misses. Now it's back to the board. Back to Allen. 
Oregon at a Mobley. Here's a look down. Don Mitchell has an R14 at the Mobley. Mobley tries to find a bounce pass over to get a Strux. Strux finds it our way. Here's Mobley. For a step back, it's good! What a shot for Evan Mobley. And he is just putting it back in to take the lead. Now I don't know what's going on now. Indiana Pacers are losing their timeout. They're just putting up so many responses out there. They're trying to make that one feel like they, hey, why aren't we getting the foul calls? Why is there no foul? Well, they don't want that actually. Well, I mean, they just can't let that stand out. I mean, that's the problem that they were really expecting. And they don't want that to be left out part of the on their own and facing things over again. They gotta have another full contact in there and make it into a better new life. That life changing of the style doesn't mean to anybody with a bigger play drive and have it done right away. They need to do something that is far more than one. Pointer, or this would be a tie in the game. I don't know if that would be it. Well, it's just going to be a three point game. That's it. 82 81. I mean, what an excellent take. The next game that will be happening here will be the Timberwolves facing against the Suns. It will be at Footprint Center. That will be the next game underway. Now, have another good look right in between of uh, the Suns from the desert and the mountains of the Wolves. Well, it might be that. I mean, I don't know if you're right. <laughs> well, let's see if it is. Because I don't know if it is. But seriously, hey, what can you go if there is another way if you try to handle things off and try to fix things over? If another one with the bucket weight for the Valley of the of the Suns and Phoenix, Arizona, and the other team of Minnesota for 10,000 lakes. In Minnesota. What is your take call? Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, guess it's only for you guys. Take it all when you can. Well, let's see when it goes in. Might be a miss or the win. And if they win, the Indiana Pacers will be heading on to Game 7 to face against the Cleveland Cavaliers one last time. If they go, then the Cavaliers will win this game. Here we go. Decision starts now. Donovan Mitchell has some work timing to get this thing done. And Donovan Mitchell will soon have to take their last timeout left, and they need to have a little bit talking things over to find someone else out. They have no idea what's going on, and this is it. No timeouts left in between of those two, of the Pacers and the Cavaliers. They only their last chance left. One last change, and of course, one chance for the win. Four minutes. Well, as right now, I mean, there might be one they all can call for here, like both of me. That's what they always expected right now. If it's me and Tyler, we're trying to figure out who's the best guy in the player to show off their third strategy. Might be what they're saying. I mean, there may not be a, there may be a yes question or a no question. I mean, what could they be? Well, yeah, it might be one of our teams. It might be a fantastic effort. And hopefully it might be a win off right between of those two. Might be, say, game seven, yes or no. What will the bat be? I'm going to say no. Well, okay. Well, that might be what they are expecting here right now. Oh, all right. Thanks for the life. Well, appreciation. Post game shows coming up right after this. And here we go. The last one is it. If they miss, it's all over. Last second, Donovan Mitchell tries to get it over. And a chance. Win for Allen. Oh, he missed the shot. That is it. They are moving on to game seven. As of 82 81, it's a close game to score. What a disappointment for the Cavaliers. It's not done yet. We're going to be back to Cleveland. It's on a roll. Game showdown on its way.
And now a report from Ali LaForce. Hey, Ali. I'm here with Pascal Siakam. The shots were falling for you tonight. How'd you like to flow offensively? You know, we're good for each other, like we always do. Move the ball around, get the open shots. And today, we didn't win it, so we have to continue to play. It's helpful when it goes in. Thanks so much, Pascal. All right, Ali, thank you so much. And that's going to wrap it up. With me, Light Bolt, and Loma Paintbrush, and Test 2, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining with us, and see you all for the next part of the game in round two, see or no. See ya. All right, guys, thank you so much. And this has been like a wildest game already. Mm -hmm. I know. It's just what they always don't expect. They really just have that one in there to make a win, go with it. Uh, here's how you do with the total statistics. 56 field goals for Cleveland Cavaliers. And that was 39 three-pointers for Indiana Pacers. That is 86 free throws for Cleveland Cavaliers. Then 16 fast break points for Indiana Pacers. Then it was 46 points it paid for the Cleveland Cavaliers. 8 second chance points for Indiana, 17 bench points for Cleveland Cavaliers with 28 assists. Then it was 8 offensive rebounds for 7, sorry, 8 rebounds for offensive rebounds for the Indiana Pacers, 35 defensive rebounds for Cleveland Cavaliers, 5 steals for Indiana, 5 blocks for Cleveland Cavaliers. Then it was 1 turnover for Indiana Pacers with 6 points off. Two team fouls was Cleveland Cavaliers with five dunks for Indiana. Then it was 17 biggest lead and 1737 for the time of possession for Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, I guess it's just going to happen now. I mean, it's going to be a win to get in to the second round to face against the Miami Heat. I mean, that's what they all wanted to do. Of course they will. Now it's time for you, Tyler, three star players of the game. All right, thank you so much. Time to head things over. As we start off with the third goal, we all go to all for Indiana, but it didn't really change things over. As I start now with the number five spot, Evan Mobley with 16 points, nine rebounds, six assists, with three blocks, and a 12 field goal range, and then just only make one three-pointer, and it wasn't that well enough at all. Only 29 performance effort, that was his finishing time with the first and second half. Now... On to number two. There's one, there's two, and it's three. Yep, I knew it was going to happen like that. Really well done. Now, for number two, it's Donovan Mitchell. 20 points, two rebounds, 10 assists, 9 out of 13 field goals, two three-pointers out of three, and it was 42 performance effort. It turned out great, like everyone does it. He has been like a biggest performance effort until it falls down and it didn't really caught on well. That was how that happened. New balance player of the game. Just made that one. Nothing to go with. And your number one star, Pascal Siakam. 25 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 10 out of 18 field goals, 4 free 3 pointers, and only 29 performance effort with only 2 dunks. It went amazing. Now it's just, it's just awesome at how it turned to be. Pascal Siakam, a one of a kind. Three and three, ready for game seven. And that's going to wrap it up here, folks. If you enjoyed this part of the game, we've got one more game for you for game six. As we have the Indiana Pacers just coming back down to Cleveland Cavaliers back in Ohio. But it may not be what they were going for because let them know need to be the answer for that one to call. The last game will be the Timberwolves facing against the Suns at the Valley of Phoenix, Arizona at Footprint Center. This will be it. Win or go home for Phoenix Suns. You'll find out soon enough. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA 2K Sports of the 2K24 Playoff Dial. This is Son of Beast and Tyler Beast wishing you a next game coming up. And have a great night. In Indiana, so long for now. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.